Hello friends, welcome to my channel Create Knowledge. In this video, I am going to tell you how to add date chooser and calendar in Java Swing GUI application as I told my previous video. Now see, this is date of birth. Here I can pick the date of birth. Suppose I am going to pick the date of birth is here you can write 2001 and suppose July 15th July 2001 15th July 2001 and same as today is 17th May so it shows the calendar it is 17th May okay now I will tell you how to make this program in Java Swing GUI application and Eclipse ID now I am going to open my Eclipse ID. Now I have opened Eclipse ID. Click on File, New, Java Project. Give the name of my project is Calendar, Calendar, and click on Finish. Now see, Calendar project is created. Here one default class is there. Now I am going to delete it. Okay. Now here, right click on the project file and go to new and other. Here you write JFrame. Click on next. Give the class name calendar. Give the class name is calendar. Now see, my calendar class is created. But in my all videos I tell you, I will not use this code, I will use my own code. So I am going to delete it. Delete. I am going to write class calendar. Inside this class I will write, I write JFrame, JFrame FR, frame I take, I will take, I am taking two level, J level. That is one is date of birth, another is calendar, another is level one, level one for this level one for heading. Now I have to import, import J frame, import J level, another class I will make dimension dim. This is dimension dim, and I have to import the dimension also. And again, I am going to make another class. This is public calendar. Here I will write everything. Here I am going to write. First, I am giving the shape of my J frame. Dimension dot is equal to toolkit dot get default toolkit dot get screen size. Here I have to import the toolkit. And next, I will write. J frame is equal to new J frame calendar. You can here, here I will write frame dot set size, dim dot width, and dim dot height, and frame dot get content pane dot set layout null. Because I have to, I will write this code for adjustment of my screen size. Whatever the machine you use, if you use laptop the screen size will match with your laptop if you see it mobile this screen will adjust with mobile that's why i write this code please remember this code now here you see i have taken one j level for label date of birth so now first i decorate i will give the frame of date of birth so i write l date of birth is equal to new j level new j level date of birth and i am going to my set bound forget the layout now i set the font import the font and i'll set the color color of font blue now import the color 
and I have to add the font, right? A for dot add to write here L D O B. Now see your design. Your date of birth is appearing here. Here I'll put the date chooser. Next, I'm going to set. Same, I'm going to copy it. Just copy this code. No need to write again and again. And paste. Here you have to change label calendar. In place of label date of birth, I'll write label calendar. So I'm going to copy this label calendar and going to paste here. And now here I'm going to write in place of date of birth, I'll write calendar. Now I have to change the font size uh, bond I am taking it, this is 100, here I am going to do it, 200, I see the, your design, click on design, and you see the date of birth and calendar, okay, now here I am right, how to add date of birth and calendar, here I am going to write it. Go to, I am going to design and here I will take a label, I am taking a J label from here, J label, drag it here, okay, here I am going to write, in text I will write how to add to add date and okay now you see it is there now here I am going to change the font it is font and it is bold and size I am taking 25 okay now I have to extend up to this I am going to increase it now if you can adjust the this uh, size here if you click here you see here bond is there bonds click on bonds here i am to go, i have to increase the width so go to the width and ch change the width suppose it is 394 now i am going to write it 450 and see i have to increase more so now I am going to do it 500, 500, now I change the width 500 and then let's see, now I have to increase more, so I am going to change it 550, 550 and see, okay that is fine, so I am going to change the height also. Height I am going to do it 25 and it is correct. Okay, now I am going to change the color. So you choose the go to, you go in foreground, click here. Here you choose the color. Now I am going to choose the color red and okay and then okay. And you see the color has been changed. Okay. Now I, here I have to put date chooser and calendar. So now I have to do it because here it is there is no calendar and date chooser is there. So I have to take it from third party because in uh, here in, in Java itself it has not any option for date of birth and date calendar so I have to import it from Google Chrome here I write J calendar 
you see J calendar is there. Click here. I'll give the link in my video. I'll give the this link in my video. And here you see the option is there. Calendar option is there. So here I'm going to use this calendar and this date chooser. So now you see here J calendar dash 1.4 dot zip. Here I am going to download this zip folder. Click here. It is downloading. It is downloading in my download folder. Okay, download complete. Now I am going to close this website. I am going to open my download folder. You see, this is my download folder. Here, J calendar 1.4 GB is there. Before that, I am going to create a folder here. I am giving the folder name J calendar. Okay. Now here I am going to paste the G folder. Here I am going to copy it. Copy. I am going to paste in my J calendar folder. Paste. Okay. So it is in J calendar folder. Now I am going to extract it. Extract here. Okay, the J calendar has been extracted. Now you go to the leave folder. You see, please keep in mind. Go to leave folder, double click on leave folder. You get the four jar file is there. Okay, now I am going to copy this four jar file, Ctrl C, and paste in J calendar folder. Here I am going to paste it and type okay so this four jar file i have to in uh, i have to put in my eclipse id okay now i'm going to open my eclipse id go to component component here right click you see here import jar is here again i'm telling you you go to component component here right click on component and import jar file here click here choose the jar achieve from go to file system here i have opened my you see in my desktop j calendar j calendar is there click on j calendar here you get the four jar file j calendar 1.4 so one by one first i am going to select j calendar 1.4 jar and open and here click on select all and then okay and then click on yes okay so you see j calendar 1.4 jar is add now again right click on component import jar file system and second one j goodies common 1.2.0 jar and select it one by one you have to select all of four yes select all okay and then yes again right click on component jar here file system and open yes and select all okay now last right click on component import jar file system last j unit 4.6 jar select it and open and yes and select all and okay 
and yes. Now see, all the four jar file is in my Eclipse ID. I have added the four jar file. Now you save it and refresh your project folder. Refresh and you see there in component is there or not. It is not showing in your component folder. Now you have to do one thing. You have to restart your Eclipse ID. Now I am going to restart my Eclipse ID. Okay. Click on design. J date chooser. J month chooser. J calendar. All are there. So what I will do? I will do it day for date of birth. I will choose the J date chooser. Here I have to select the J date chooser. Select it and drag it here. It is okay. Date chooser and I will select J calendar. This is J calendar. Select it and drag it here. Okay. Change the size of this date chooser. You select it and go to bond. Here I am going to increase the width. Go to the width and write here 200 and see the result. Okay, that's fine. Now I have to write the main method and exit and close option. Here you have to write frame dot set visible true and you write frame dot set default close operation exit on close. Here I am going to write the main method that is public static void main string ARGS. Here I write a class class will now I am giving the class is new calendar ok now I am going to save my project save and run now see the design first to see the design you see how to add date chooser and calendar here I am giving the date of birth option and calendar option now I am going to run my program. Now you see it is adjust as per my skill size. Here you see how to add date chooser and calendar date of birth. Click here. Now suppose my date of birth is 2003 and January 31st you see 31st January 2003. Today's date is 17th May. It is appearing 17th May. It highlighted is 17th May. So now I think you have understand how to add date chooser and calendar in Swing Java Swing JY application. In my next video I will make a complete project Okay, if you like this video, please do subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Thanks a lot. Thanks.